Companies like Solyndra are leading the way toward a brighter and more prosperous future. But through the Recovery Act, this company received a loan to expand its operations. This new factory is the result of those loans. That was President Obama two years ago crawling about the green jobs created by his stimulus. But that same solar panel firm, which got 535 million government stimulus dollars, well, it's about to lay off more than a thousand workers and declare bankruptcy. Are these stories like this why our growth is so anemic? Did we squander the stimulus money? With us now is Chris Horner. He's a senior fellow at the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Uh, Chris, give us an idea of just how much taxpayer dollars have been flushed down this alternative energy tube, if you will. Well, according to a recent story in Politico, it's more than $80 billion just in the, the stimulus package that went to create, they said, 224,000 jobs. We see from Solyndra, which you have to remember was their best hope, their poster child, their best case for success. These are all temporary jobs. Well, that yields $355,555 per temporary job position created. Solyndra cost the federal taxpayer $479,000 per temporary position, which has now evaporated. These are all bubble jobs because they're phony. They only exist because politicians say they want credit for having, quote, done something, created jobs, but they're not responding to demand. They're providing something that doesn't work. You know, Chris, I got to tell you, that figure is shocking. $80 billion, and they, and they sold the stimulus as shovel ready. Uh, it, it's almost beyond the pale. But I tell you, another aspect of this that is, is almost as egregious is the notion that this $535 million was used to back up investors who are President Obama's supporters, particularly one billionaire out of Oklahoma. Can you give us more details on that? Uh, yeah, I think the, the gentleman's name is Kaiser, who it's another example. It's classic crony capitalism. Uh, green jobs, uh, I point this out in the talk I give, green jobs are crony capitalism's latest big idea. You see it time and time again. Somebody will put a little bit of money in a, a project which the markets don't want to fund, but then they put a lot of money in a politician who's eager to fund it. And again, these people, these special pleaders who all come to politicians saying, unless you give me this bag of money, mandate, or preference, I'm going to disappear, at least have to leave the country, they all need to be told, then disappear or at least leave the country, because they're all going to end up like Solyndra. But instead, they talk to their friends in government, and President Obama is the worst among many offenders here to give them a lot of hard-earned transferred wealth from the productive sector of the economy, taking it out of the productive sector of the economy to pay off, essentially, Political buddies, this is crony capitalism, which is now, I have to say, at its very worst, right. possibly ever, and it's because of this new $80 billion infusion into what is nothing but crony capitalism. It sounds like really, I mean, you know, the label should be theft, to be quite frank with you. You know, it's interesting because earlier this week, I took a look at some companies that either President Obama or Vice President Biden went to visit, and over the last two years, uh, the five companies, stock-wise, these are publicly traded companies, alternative energy, the best performers down 60%. So not only was it taxpayer dollars, but they probably induced or seduced individual investors into pouring money into these companies as well. So everyone's a victim. Well, look, they are, they are the definition of a bubble because they're not worth anything. Then they get an enormous uh, infusion of transferred wealth. Then their stock will go up on the promise, just like those models in Wall Street, which assumed housing prices could never go down. Well, they assume these revenue streams will always continue because politicians don't want to be tagged with killing jobs by not continuing the revenue stream, keeping the bubble inflated. And so they do burst. Bubbles always burst. And you have losers, individuals, not just, remember, the federal taxpayer paid $479,000 for each of these 1,100 temporary jobs lost. And it's typical. It was even more in Spain, and that's where we're headed. Wow. Chris Horner, I got to tell you, that $80 billion number, I cannot get it out of my mind. It is criminal. That's the White House's number, Charles. That's their number, Charles. Amazing. Thanks a lot, Chris Horner. We appreciate it. And thanks for enlightening us, because, again, that is a criminal number. It's total injustice. Thanks for your time tonight. Thank you, Charles.